Hey guys, welcome back to this special series on building seven use cases of machine learning in Android. So this is the last video where we finally build this spam detection model using text, uh, text classification. So this is based on this pathway from Google developers can get started with mobile text classification. So they have this pathway where they build this spam classification, app, spam classification app from scratch. And then you have the code labs for uh, building the model and they've explained how the model is built. And then finally a Google Colab where the actual code is there to build the model as a TensorFlow Lite. So I've already executed these steps. And one thing that is different from other pathways is that this model will also export two files, which are the labels and the vocab. So vocabs are for understanding the words that are used and as part of the comments. And the label is basically to tell whether the output has to be true or false, whether the comment is spam or not. Just a reminder, if you are interested in learning Android using Kotlin, the new recommended programming language for Android development, I have a detailed course on my own YouTube channel. Please do check it out. So let's get started. So let's go back to our Android studio. So in the last video, we actually forgot to add the bindings which connect the UI and the activity. So let's first do it. So let's do that quickly. So I'll just copy paste this to make things easier. So we'll need two things. One is the input edit text and then the output text view. And then we need a public void method on send or on post comment. And now if I go to activity text helper and I go to the code for this button, I can just add it here. So our comment thing, so whenever the user clicks the button, this method will get executed. And now we can write a protected method, which we can call run classification, which will take a string as an input. So here, whenever post comment button is clicked, we will call this run classification method, which will actually get the text which has, which the user has entered from in the edit text. So get text dot two string. So just passing get text or just doing a two string doesn't work. You need to do a get text dot two string. So I'm not checking whether the box is empty or not. Maybe that you can add later, but for now this should work. So again, uh, let's create a new package under text. So a new package called text and then our final activity, which is the spam detection activity. This is just a class which will actually extend the text helper activity. So again, we need to overwrite two methods on create and the run classification. So next thing that we need to do is to add the library, which will help us to classify the text and also to import the models. So let's close these things and open this build.gridle, which says module ML series demo dot app and below that we have added before, we'll add a new text library. So this, this also comes from TensorFlow. So this is the TensorFlow Lite task text and the version is 010. Let's just click on sync now. And while that happens, let's uh, import all the models and the text files that are required. So I'll just copy them and paste it into our assets folder. So you can see we have added three things, labels, vocabs, and a model spam. So the sync has finished. So let's go back to spam detection and let's start integrating the models. So first thing that we need is the model path or the name of the model. So our model is called model underscore spam dot tf lite. So this is same as the file that we have copied in the assets folder. And then we need to create the NL classifier. So NL classifier is the short for natural language classifier. So you can see this actually comes from the TensorFlow Lite library. 
So to make things easier, I'm just copy pasting the code from our ML series demo. So this is how we initialize the classifier. So this is very simple. And classifier dot create from file pass the context, which is the activity, and the model path, which is the name of the model inside the assets folder. If you have put the model inside some subfolder, you need to add that subfolders here with a slash. Okay, so our classifier is initialized as soon as the activity is launched and then whenever the user clicks the button, we need to run the classification. Okay, so we are actually using comment and not text and we are directly using the output text view. Okay, so what is happening is as soon as the user enters a comment and presses the button, this classifier dot classify comment will get executed and we are getting so this model is actually same as the bird sound identifier where apart from text classification we are also classifying whether the comment is spam or not so we use the second output not the zeroth but the first one which is actually the second output and we get a score if the score is greater than 80 percent then we classify that comment as spam Otherwise, we just said not detected as spam and we also output the score here. So from the code side, this is almost ready. Uh, one more thing that we need to do is whenever the activity is completed or destroyed or the user goes out of the activity, we need to close this classifier. So yeah, that part is done. And now let's uh, change our method in main activity to launch this spam detection instead of the text helper. So let's go to main activity and instead of text helper activity, we will launch our spam detection activity. And the same change we will actually do in the manifest. So instead of helpers dot text helper activity, we just need a spam detection activity. Okay, so let's run our app. Okay, so the app is running and when I click go to spam detection, it comes here. So this model was actually built by analyzing the comments on a YouTube video. So if I say nice video. So there is a crash. Let's see what happened. Okay. So what it's saying is that the edit text, not get text was called a null object, which means we have not initialized the buttons on and the output text view properly. So let's go to our helper text activity. So yeah, we have just created these variables, but we have not actually initialized them. So input edit text is actually equal to find view by ID r dot id dot. Let's go to this one. So let's change it to comment, edit text comment, and this is button post comment. And this is our output for spam. Okay, yeah. so this will become edit text comment. And our output text view will become find view by id r dot id dot text view output spam. Okay, let's run it again. Okay, go to spam detection. Okay, we messed up the so we messed up the look and feel so you can see everything is coming on top of each other because we updated the id but we didn't do a refactor so yeah and this is button post comment and this is button post comment so now okay everything looks fine so whenever you're changing the ids actually do a refactor by going in the design view here and not directly changing in the xml So go to spam detection, 
So if I say nice video, so it is not detected as spam, but if I say, visit my website, XXX, and I give a website URL, then it gets detected as spam. So this is from part of text classification. So we can see how we can integrate a custom text classification model. And even before a comment is sent to the server, we can actually stop the user from commenting it. So hope you will enjoyed the series. And uh, if you need some other use cases, please do let us know in the comments and we will try to come. We will try to make a video for you. Thank you for watching.